In this video, we're going to talk about how do you compare mixed numbers. When you're comparing two mixed numbers, the first thing you want to do is look at the whole number. If the whole numbers are different, the one that's larger is the larger mixed number. If you have two mixed numbers and the whole numbers are the same, what we need to do next is just isolate the proper fraction portion and evaluate that way. Let's go through four examples that show this. In the first example, we're going to show two mixed numbers. Both of them have the same whole number of three. Both of them actually have the same denominators in their proper fraction portion. So the easiest way to compare this is to say, well, three in this numerator compared to four, since our denominators are the same, we know that four is greater than three. So three and three ninths is less than three and four ninths. Now, you won't always have that where the denominators are the same. So let's look at the second example. Our whole numbers are the same, both are six. So let's isolate three sevenths and six fourteenths. So if we take three sevenths and six fourteenths, we can use cross multiplication to see which one is larger. So first thing you want to do with cross multiplication is you're going to want to multiply the numerator of one fraction times the denominator of the second fraction and then vice versa. So three times 14 is 42. Seven times six is 42. Well, 42 equals 42. So these two mixed numbers are actually equal. Third example, four and five eighths compared to four and seven twelfths. So our whole numbers are the same. Denominators are different. So let's isolate these two as five eighths and seven twelfths. I'm gonna change my colors here. We know five times 12 is gonna be 60. Eight times seven is 56. 60 is greater than 56, so 4 and 5 eighths is greater than 4 and 7 twelfths. Last example, 5 and 2 ninths compared to 5 and 5 twenty fifths. Whole numbers are the same. Denominators are different, so let's write our proper fraction portion. Change my colors. 2 times 25 is 50. 9 times 5 is 45. 50 is greater than 45, so 5 and 2 ninths is greater than 5 and 5 25ths. Now that you've been through four examples, try one on your own. See if you can tell me which one is greater, 2 and 3 fourths or 2 and 5 eighths. Leave your answer in the comments. Good luck! If you want to see more math help videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And check out my website at improvemath.com to download your free printable worksheet. Thanks for watching.